Hi everyone, this is Scott Weidenkiewicz from Photocrati and Next Gen Gallery. We get a question coming a lot of how to upload batches of images. Now there's a few ways you can go about it. So here we are in a uh, WordPress install. Uh, this is actually WordPress 3.8 alpha. So I'm actually alpha testing a WordPress version that's not even out yet. And um, you can see here that it's a very basic install. The only thing here is right now NextGen Gallery and NextGen Pro. And this works the same way whether you're using the Pro version or the free version. Under the Gallery tab here on the left, we're going to hit Add Gallery Images. And that's going to bring you to this screen. Okay. Now from here, you can go ahead and, and choose either a gallery that already exists or you can create a new one. We're going to call it Batch Images. And now by pulling up the, uh, my finder, I can bring up a folder full of photos. And from here, I can just you know, highlight them all and drag to here. Now I can also go ahead and grab a, a zip file. Now zip files, it will uncompress. I'll drag that to here. The thing with the zip files is your WordPress install and your server are limited to the file size that you can upload. It's not controlled by Next Gen Gallery. It's actually controlled by WordPress and your server. So depending on your file size limit, you can upload a, uh, a small zip with multiple photos in it. Or if you go to do a big one, you'll get a little bit of an error saying that you're, it's, too, uh, it's too big. So as you can see here that there's a batch, uh, batch of images here ready to upload and the zip file here as well. Now, if you want to remove one, you can just hit the um, little minus button over here. And then I'm going to hit start upload. So it's going to create a gallery and upload all the images and you can see the progress going on here. And I'm just going to pause the video while that uploads. And when it's done, I'll come back. Okay, so it's about to finish. You can see here it's uploading the final zip and you can see all these check marks saying it's ready and it said how many were uploaded, 16 were uploaded and we're good to go. Now it's going to clear this out and then you can check off, um, close that little alert box. Now that is one way that you could upload batches of images. The other way is you can go ahead and you can upload through FTP. So let's say we're going to upload a folder. Now your galleries typically reside in a folder in the WP contents folder and then uh, gallery, uh, gallery is actually, actually it is gallery. Now I've been playing around in the FTP and, and it is uh, getting a little bit cumbersome. I need to start deleting uh, some of the folders and, and wipe this WordPress. This is a test site that we use a lot. And now I can go ahead and create a new folder and I'm going to call it um, batch image two. And then I'm going to go into there and I'm going to upload just four images through FTP. Now this is a batch of four images and it's just going to upload it right to the server. And then if I refresh this page here and then I, once it refreshes, I'm going to go to the import folder drop down and then I'm going to navigate to that folder in order to um, you know, scan what I just uploaded through FTP, the batch of images I did through FTP and create a gallery from that. So here's the image, the image folder. As you can see, this is the WP content folder. I'm going to go into gallery. Now, before I said I mentioned it was under galleries, it wasn't, but I actually created um, in NextGen Gallery, you can change what folder that your, your galleries go to. So I got, I confused myself because I've got too many folders. Um, so I just created batch images too. So remember, here is the one I created before using the uploader. And then here is the one I just created through FTP. I just selected that. I'm going to go down here and import batch image too. Now I can keep the images in the original location. Now, because this is already in the right folder, it's going to um, leave it where it was because it's already in the gallery folder that was set. But if um, you uploaded somewhere else in WP content, you wanted to leave the gallery folder there. We have this option here where you can actually leave it in its place. So now I'm going to go to the manage gallery area and you'll see that down at the bottom. Here is batch images with the 16 images. And then if I go to page two, here's batch images two with the four images. It uploaded perfectly. So again, um, you can easily do batches in multiple ways. Now here's one other way that you can do batches. If you already create a gallery, so let's say you already have a gallery. Um, let's say we created this a while back. 
And now I want to upload the rest of these images. So I'm going to upload them through FTP because sometimes doing it through FTP is faster than doing it through the, the WordPress backend. And that's okay. That's not a problem. So now they're all uploaded. Now what I want to do is scan for new images. So I'm going to hit that button. It's going to scan, create the thumbnails, and we're going to have uh, however many images, 17 total images in this gallery once that's done. Okay, so it just finished. It's going to refresh, and here we go. Here's all of our images, all in the gallery, done through batch. I did not have to do this one by one very easily. So again, you can either do it through the Add Gallery Images section by either choosing a, a gallery already created, by creating a new one, by putting it here, dragging, or you can just uh, click Add Files to, uh, to add files. You can click right here. Here's Add Files. You can browse. Um, you can upload images, zip files, or you can do an import folder if you wanted to do it that way as well. So many different ways to add images in bulk. So again, this was Scott from Photocrati Next Gen Gallery, and thanks for watching.